The following program is video supplemental instruction. VSI is brought to you by the Teaching Center, UF's Learning Support Center, www.teachingcenter.ufl.edu. Okay, so for number nine we have a which of the following statements are true problem. So let's just go through P, Q, and R and figure out what's what here. So for P, we have that inverse sine or arc sine <clears throat> of sine of three, 3 pi over 5 is equal to 3 pi over 5. So knowing whether this is true or false just boils down to whether you remembered the rules for the inverse string functions. Remember that the range of arc sine and arc tangent has to be from negative pi over 2 to pi over 2. 3 pi over 5 is outside the range of arc sine. The arc sine of anything could never be 3 pi over 5. So this one is false. The reason being is that 3 pi over 5 is not the reference angle. That's in the second quadrant. So its reference angle would actually be 2 pi over 5. And that's what the answer would be. Alright, for Q, cosine of arc cosine of square root of 2 equals square root of 2. Okay, so let's take this one and see what happens here. So remember that <clears throat> the range of your cosine function and your sine function for that matter are negative 1 to 1. Like when you do the cosine of anything, you could only get something between negative 1 and 1. Which means the domain of arc cosine and arc sine are negative 1 to 1. You could only plug in things between negative 1 and 1 to arc cosine. Square root of 2 is bigger than 1. So you can't do arc cosine of root 2 because the, if you're doing the arc cosine of anything, it has to be in between negative 1 and 1. So this one is again false. So these questions are just testing that you memorize these domains. Definitely need to do that for the exam. Okay, and R. You have tan of tan inverse of x equals x. And they're saying this is true for all x. x could be any real number. So let's think about this one. Tangent obeys a slightly different rule than sine and cosine because the range of your regular tangent function can be any real number. So that means the domain of your arc tangent function is any real number. So this part is certainly fine. You can do the arc tangent of any number. And when you do that, you're going to get some answer, going to get some angle. Um, between negative pi over 2 and pi over 2, and when you do the tangent of that, you are going to get that same number back. So this is absolutely true. So the do domain and range things for tangent are different than for sine and cosine, and you need to remember all of them for questions just like this on the exam. The Teaching Center, UF's Learning Support Center www.teachingcenter.ufl.edu